Steven. Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do it this time. M maybe it was Jody. She's really mad at us. Don't be ridiculous. Look at you, stop it. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, wait for me. <laughs> The door, it won't open. It's impossible, try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm, there's, there's no reason to panic. I said no. End of story. Please, Nathan, just this once. All the other girls in my class are going, and I won't be late. I promise, okay? You're wasting your breath, Jody. It's just not fair. How come everyone can go and I can't? I do everything you ask of me all week, and I never get to have any fun. For the hundredth time, you're not like everyone else, and there are rules. Well, I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. Good night. Ah! Yeah. I'll be next door. Let me know if you need anything.
It's Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here. Come on, I just want to go out and have some fun. I can't do it, babe. Rules are rules. Please. Come on, Cole. Please. Please let me out just this once. Why do you have to tell Nathan everything? I'm sorry, princess, but I can't. It's not my call. Stop it, Jody. This is not gonna do you any good. You're grounded, period. Jody, you know better than to use Iden when you're angry. Enough! This is getting you nowhere. Hey, no swearing, okay, Jody? Are you done? Are you proud of yourself? I hope so, because you have to clean all that up. everything in this goddamn room. If that's not gonna work, we have to figure out what will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's calmed down. She smashed up the apartment first, but <laughs> she's calmed down. Okay. Sure, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm really sorry, Cole. I hate myself for doing this, but... You understand, right? I just... I need to go out tonight.
Yeah, I know. It's too late to turn back now. Well, hello, Cole, Jody. The late for day trip, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I just, I'm feeling, um, I'm not, I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling sick, so we were just gonna go, um, and get some fresh air. You okay? Um, you want, you want us to call the infirmary? No, 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 there's, there's, there's no need. I'm, um, you know, Cole's looking after me, so, right, Cole? So, what's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Hmm? Uh. He, he lost. He, he lost his voice. I think it's like a a virus or something. I, that's more than. That's more than I've gotten out of him all all day long. So. It's not contagious, buddy. You should be home in bed if you ask me. Safer for all of us. All right, well, see ya. Go on now. Well, at least we don't have to look for Cole's car. There's cameras everywhere. Better not hang around here too long. Now get in the car and start it up. that all about I think I know exactly what that was all about I told you not to go and you disobeyed me 
You know how dangerous that was for Cole and for you? Hell, Jody, don't you remember Kirsten's birthday party? You know what can happen with Aiden, right? Right? What's going on? Get dressed. I'll explain in the car. The DPA has launched a program to study the other side. The infrared, as they call it. They've created a condenser, a machine to open a rift to what lies beyond. They opened a passage? To Aiden's world? Something happened last night. Entities got through the rift and we couldn't shut down the condenser. Everybody in the building was slaughtered. None of the rescue teams came back. They called and asked for your help. I told them you were just a child, that it was too dangerous. But they know only you know how to deal with what lies beyond the rift. Do it, just say, and I'll take you back. It's all right. I'll do it. She's the only one that can stop this. Have we got any information coming out of there yet? Anything? Is that the girl? I'm sorry, miss. She can't come. She can go. 